I'm Christina Rainville. I'm running for state's attorney of Bennington County as an independent. I'm a real prosecutor with real accomplishments and a real plan to end the opioid epidemic. I was chief deputy state's attorney for eight and a half years. And what's most important about my time there are my many accomplishments. I won a case before the United States Supreme Court in Washington, D.C. for Bennington County. I tried 25 jury trials for Bennington County. I argued 25 appeals before the Vermont Supreme Court for Bennington County. And in a time of crisis, I was the go-to person for Bennington County. When a child went missing under extremely worrisome circumstances, the state police, they called me. I was the one who asked them to issue Vermont's very first Amber Alert. I was the one who dropped everything and literally ran out my front door to meet the state detectives at the emergency command center that they were setting up in Manchester. I was the one who worked through the night side by side with all of the police detectives doing anything and everything that I could to support their work and giving them legal advice. And when we got the call from the New Hampshire State Police that the Amber Alert had worked and that the boy was safe and found, I was the one who stayed on and drafted all of the legal papers necessary for his return. And I was the one who called the judge in the middle of the night to arrange for getting the materials to the judge's house. I was also the go-to person for Bennington County with the legislature. I drafted numerous bills, several of which became law. I'm most proud of the law that I drafted and which ended up being the law that greater protected children. And when that law was signed, when that bill was signed into law, the governor came to Bennington and honored me at a public bill signing ceremony for my work. The current state's attorney has none of these accomplishments. She played no role whatsoever in my work with the US Supreme Court. She rarely, if ever, tries a jury case. And there's not a single case in the Vermont Supreme Court where she's identified as arguing the case. Now, I said in the beginning that I'm a real prosecutor with real, with a real accomplishments and a real plan to address the opioid crisis. And it's the opioid crisis that's the reason why I'm running. I have a plan, and you can read more about it on my website, ChristinaRainville.com, and Rainville for State's Attorney on Facebook. I will be issuing pieces of my plan throughout my campaign, but I'm prepared right now to talk about two of them. The first thing we need to do that's absolutely essential and should have happened years ago is we need to work directly with our medical professionals to reduce the number of opioid pills that are legally prescribed in our community. We need to do that because studies show that the sheer number of pills that are legally prescribed is directly related to the problems in the community, including the number of babies born addicted to opioids. One thing that I will do immediately is work to give medical professionals access to Vermont's criminal database so that they can, on a free and immediate basis, look to see if the patient before them who is requesting opioids, if that patient has a conviction, for example, selling opioid pills. This information needs to be provided to our medical community immediately so that they can use this information as a factor in their decisions. I will also work with our medical community on another issue that's extremely important, and that is what happens when they cut off someone's long-term opioid prescription. We know that a number of those people will turn instead to heroin. And when a medical professional cuts off an opioid prescription, that's a terrific time to get the person into treatment. I will work with our medical community to make sure that they all know what the process is for getting people into treatment immediately, who they need to contact and to get it done. The second piece of my plan to address the opioid crisis is to implement a drug court immediately. We needed it eight years ago. We need it more than ever today. Other counties have it. Rutland County has it. It's inexplicable to me that the state's attorney has refused to get a drug court and has essentially refused any change at all in the way these cases have been prosecuted since basically the 1950s. We know that process doesn't work. We need change. A drug court will enable us to make these cases highest priority in terms of time 
so that they can be handled quickly. We can get people into treatment immediately and get the drug dealers off the street. These cases are time is of the essence cases. They need to be our priority and a drug court will accomplish that. I will lead the community. I will be there for the community. I've demonstrated that time and time again. In contrast, in 2015, when the organizations that are struggling to handle the opioid epidemic got together, they wanted to have a community-wide meeting. They invited the state's attorney. It was very important to them that she attend. They had the meeting. She didn't show up. Again, in 2018, the leaders of the community of organizations running and handling the opioid epidemic again scheduled a meeting, and it was reported that again, she didn't show up. And I have personal experience with that. When I was handling the Amber Alert at the Emergency Command Center in Manchester, the state's attorney was at home in Manchester, 10 minutes away, and she didn't show up. I will be there. I will be the leader that this community needs, and I will address the opioid crisis. I have plans, real plans, that will make a difference. Early voting starts on September 21st. Please vote for me, Christina Rainville for State's Attorney. Thank you very much for watching.